Hi, this is Erica at Morrison Reeves Library again with another recommendation of an author who can be found both in the children's department and the young adults apart department of uh, youth services at Morrison Reeves Library. The author is Deborah Wiles. Her most favorite and famous book is Love, Ruby Lavender, which takes place in a little town in Aurora County in Mississippi. And there is something about Southern writers, I've always heard this about writers of adult fiction, that Southern writers in the United States just have an amazing ability to capture people's voices and express character through the voices. Ruby Lavender is a, a little girl with a whole lot of character and very warm, deep relationships with the people in her family and with the people in her little town. And it's about how she deals with the absence of her grandmother, who's gone away for a while to visit other members of the family far, far away. And it includes some uh, letters that they write back and forth to each other between Ruby and her grandmother. And uh, how she grows up in a lot of ways and helps to take care of the other people there as well as being taken care of by the people in her family who love her so very much. It's a great book. Another book that takes place in the same town in Aurora County is A Long Line of Cakes. And it's about a family who are bakers. And all of their children, and there are quite a few of them, about uh, five boys, one girl and a dog. All of the kids are named after famous cakes that are made in the South. And eventually, uh, I was so curious, I looked up the recipes for those different kinds of cakes. And one of the fun things is that in the uh, beginning pages of the book, you get to see a map of the town, so you know where everybody lives and how they're all related to each other. So the cake family includes Emma Alabama Lane cake, Benjamin Lord Baltimore cake, Jody traditional angel food cake, Van chocolate layer cake, Roger black forest cake, and the littlest one, Gordon, is Gordon ridiculously easy no need sticky buns cake. So uh, you can tell there's a lot of sense of humor in it, and it's about the only girl in the family and how she makes friends with Ruby and uh, finds her place in the family and finds her place in that little village. I think you'll enjoy it very much. A book that I really love, and if you've been uh, tuning into any of these other recommendations, you'll find out that books that make me cry, I think are really, really good books. This is one that has done that, Each Little Bird That Sings. It's about a girl named Comfort Snowburger, who's part of a family, again, in a very small southern town. And the family is the only local uh, funeral home. They, her father is the, um, the undertaker, and uh, her mother helps to provide all the hospitality around funerals, and Comfort actually has to um, deal with the death of a couple of very elderly people in her family, whom she loves very, very much. And not just she, but a cousin who drives her crazy, uh, and uh, a friend of hers who used to be a very close friend, but seems to be growing away from her at that nine or 10 year old age when uh, people start finding out the power of friendships and the power of including people or excluding people from friendships. And uh, it's, it's a very beautifully written, also full of humor and love and caring, uh, but also some very deeply felt emotions. And Deborah Wiles, the author, wrote at the beginning that in the four years since the publication of Love, Ruby, Lavender, one death 
followed another in my family, and I came to understand the meaning of friendship and the power of love. And she shares that with readers in this book. Deborah Wiles has also written uh, three other books, one of which is shelved in the young adult section in our library. The other two, which I'm going to show you right now, are in the children's section. One called Countdown is set in 1962 at the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis when uh, President John F. Kennedy was uh, dealing with possible global nuclear war and the whole country was kind of holding its breath. The thing that's interesting about this book and the other two books in the series is that she is experimenting with combining a, a fiction story with um, bits of real information, pictures, uh, newspaper articles, letters that have been found in historical archives so that you see some of the things that the characters in the story would have been seeing and reading and thinking about at that time period. So it gives young people who are um, growing up de many decades after this a real sense of what was going on both in nonfiction terms and in, uh, in identifying with fictional characters. Here's another example of a photograph from the time period. The one that's in the young adult section is called Revolution, and this one called Anthem is set in 1969. So it's about, um, as you can probably tell from the peace symbol on the cover, about the Vietnam War and um, how it impacted people's lives in the United States and uh, about how young people um, responded to the draft and to um, making their thoughts and feelings known about uh, that war. So Deborah Wiles, I highly recommend her. Please check her out. Thank you.